Another opportunity for ex-offenders and other job seekers will be a job fair next Thursday at the Reggie Lewis Center in Roxbury. It's sponsored by the Center for Church and Prison. We'd like to welcome its director, Reverend George Walter Sleon. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Reverend. Thank you, Chris, for the invitation. Talk about um, how these uh, job fairs have worked out. You've had one already. Uh, uh, you're trying to do even better with this one. So what have you learned so far? Well, uh, what we've learned is that, first of all, uh, Individuals, participants, attendees are quite enthusiastic about it. Uh, they see it as an, as an opportunity for them to be considered for a second chance. Everybody needs a second chance in their lives. And so when, when we put this job fair up like that, they feel that people are concerned about them, want to give them a second chance in spite of their mistakes. So what we also learn from the job fair is that we have to, more, we have to be more strategic uh, in getting more employers. And our, our, our bid is to get more employers. So we talk to employers that there is a benefit in, in, in hiring some of these guys. They, some of them are well experienced and some of them, they've got skills that need, that need to be given an opportunity to, for them to exercise their skills. And there is uh, 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 the federal bonding also for employers if they hire them, uh, which is about nine to $10,000 uh, insurance, uh, uh, federal insurance bonding for employers. So we've learned all of that. Talk about uh, the job seekers because th there are some people who, as you mentioned, they have a, a criminal record and they're concerned about how that's going to affect their job seeking. So what can you do to help them? Well, uh, this is one strategic way of, of helping people who have quarries, so to speak, that's uh, criminal offender record information. Uh, what we've learned is that we have to give them the confidence, first of all, that people are concerned about helping them. Now, the second thing is always the huddle, because when they go for the interview, uh, uh, employers are always skeptical that because they've got criminal record, there could be this, there is this whole facade or uh, 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 impression that it could be quite dangerous. It's really not so, because you have a lot of people in the system that are, that are running around with jobs, very good jobs with Corey. You know, and so it's, it's sometimes when you see a person well-dressed and you who has a very good professional job and you look at the person's background, you realize that this person has Corey, you are amazed. Oh, I thought those who had Corey were just these great, great uh, criminals. No, it's not always the case. OK, so we assure them that you have to be very confident because there are people who are willing to look beyond what is quite evident and, and just the whole facade that you are you have Corey. Now, what we heard about Corey sometimes, at least before the most recent reform, is that, that you could have Corey even if you were not found guilty of anything. And some employers might see even that and say, I don't want to take a chance. Exactly. And that's the problem, because a lot of employers do not know how to read this particular information. And so they assume once they see Corey, they, they think, oh, this person is a dangerous person. No, that person may not have been convicted. That person may not have gone to jail at all. So uh, what about the kind of resources you have to help the job seekers? Well, right now, uh, what, we, what we have put together for this particular job fair are employers, but then also resources as well. Uh, some of the resources entails uh, uh, training opportunities, because some of the guys need to build up their skills. And they need, some of them need a little bit of counseling as well. Some of them need to put their training together, their interview skills, their uh, uh, job readiness skills. Some of them need to put their resumes together. We've put all of this together as well. We've, we've brought this together for this job fair. And then also we have an organization called Till It for Success that are willing to help guys who, who are going out for their interview to give them a brand new suit. Uh, give them a brand new suit, whether it's a lady, a brand new uh, uh, a suit for your interview and, uh, and two extra suits, you know. So we are saying to people out there, if, you got, if you've got Corey, if you don't have Corey, come, for the, come to this job fair because definitely there are opportunities for you to get more. And you could get more information, you could have an opportunity for you to be hired, if possible, based on the companies and what they need. If you have the skills, they, they could give you an opportunity. And of course, a little advice for people uh, to come prepared, right? Exactly. So if you are coming, you've got no, you need to be on top of your, your interview skills. Know, know what you need to know. Read about the companies that are available. Go on our website and to read about the companies that are coming. Have, have a little background about them. Have your resume with you. Have several copies of your resume. Be open 
okay? Because you may not have your dream job or you may have something small. So just be open for something that will put you in a place where uh, it could be an opportunity for you to advance. Well, one of the companies uh, taking part uh, is, is Roxbury Technology Corporation. Now, someone says, well, that's just a, a manufacturing business. What do you say to a manufacturer to say, hire me? I'm going to be good at what you need. Well, I, I, look, I, I tell guys where, that are coming, go in for what is available if you have the desire to advance yourself. Okay, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's construction, whether it's uh, starting your own small business, take the opportunity. Do what you can because it may prove uh, fruitful for you tomorrow because the skills that you learn, you may use it tomorrow. Okay, manufacturers are coming all over now because of a lot of other things. The, the economic recession has, has hampered several things, several areas, but much more so there is the possibility, there is the potential. So if you can equip yourself and get some job experience, in the, in the manufacturing industry, it's to your benefit. By the way, we should mention uh, the time and place uh, of this event again uh, next Thursday. Well, it's uh, this job fair. Uh, it's next Thursday at the Reggie Lewis uh, Center, the Reggie Lewis Center's gym, uh, next Thursday, which is the 15th of September. At, uh, all attendees, we're asking all attendees to be there at 11 o'clock. We'll have a brief motivational time. And then the job fair itself starts at uh, 12, from 12 to 5. So we're asking all attendees to be there on time if you can. We highly appreciate it. Now, what about uh, any advanced registration that might be needed? Uh, should people be careful about that? Sure. Uh, if you want to uh, register advanced, go on our website or send us an email at Jobs Center for Church Prison. Jobs Center for Church Prison. Send us at, at gmail.com. Send us an email with your resume. Don't paste the resume in your email. <laughs> send us the resume attached in a Word document. And like that, we can download it and have it. But bring uh, several copies of your resume if you come early. If you don't have the opportunity to reg register, come early, and you will have the opportunity to register at the front desk as well. And, of course, I know uh, it's almost time, but it wouldn't hurt if uh, another employer or two showed up too, right? Exactly, exactly. We want to we wanna appeal to employers out there if you have the heart. Now, take, for instance, this particular job fair is not only for people with Corey. It's for people without Corey in the minority community, minority community, especially the black community now, is 60% uh, and 60 point five, I mean 16.5% uh, 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 unemployment rate. It's, it's, it's terrible, okay? It's terrible. And this is one way of reaching out, not only uh, minority communities, uh, even white communities too, people need jobs. So we want to appeal to all employers out there, uh, give someone a chance if you have the opportunity, if you have the chance. If you want to come, just come or give us a call at 781-233-1528. Uh, uh, and you can come that day at the, at the gate, say, look, I have this company and I want to set up a table to, to interview or hire people if possible. All right, thank you very much for being with us. Reverend George Walters-Sleon from the Center for Church and Prison. We'll have more news in a moment after this message.